fam welcome back to the channel um today's vlog is going to be all about self-care um a lot of us you know remember to take care of ourselves and others we kind of wait until it's too late so today i want to make sure that i do just that take some time for myself um take care of myself and do some things for myself um, so yeah, so first things first is I have um, a massage scheduled for 11, 15, I think. It's like 10, 33 now. And then I think I'm gonna go and get me a pedicure and then probably do some shopping, maybe even have lunch, who knows. Um, but yeah, so I will take you guys along with me today and depending on what we find in the stores while I'm out shopping, there may be a shopping haul at the end of this vlog. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so I just got to um, Massage Envy and I'm really hoping that I have a really good uh, masseuse today because the one that I usually, girl I usually go to was booked today. So I had to pick somebody different, somebody new. You know how that is. It's like you like who you like. So I'm praying <laughs> that they work me over good today. I know that sounds crazy, but I'm hoping that this person 
can apply some really good tension. So fingers crossed. My massage, amazing, amazing. Oh, I'm so happy that I finally came and got one. I'm, I'm part of the monthly club, whatever, where you pay like 70 bucks a month and then you get like a massage and something else. But I've been slacking. So of course I have like a couple of them that I, I can get. Um, because I haven't been coming. But either way, my massage was amazing. And um, the Massage Envy place is literally next door to TJ Maxx. So I had to check them out. I got a couple things out of there and I'll show you guys later. But right now I'm gonna go and eat my sister for lunch at the Fa place. I've never had Fa. So I'm really hoping it's delicious because I'm a little hungry. So I'll be back. One thing my sister gonna be is late. She gonna be late. She always late. She gonna be late. We were supposed to meet at one o'clock. It's 124 and she still ain't here. She gonna be late. Say hello to the vlog. Hey people. She showed up 30 minutes late. Y'all been praying for me? Because <laughs> y'all know I've been sick. I have been. My sister knows she's just playing around. She know I have been. Even though we don't want to claim it. We ain't claiming nothing. We ain't claiming nothing. We ain't claiming nothing. But she was still 30 minutes late. Just so you know. Somebody, the people made me late. She was 30 minutes late. Okay. Let's just say 30 minutes late. Okay. I'm here though. All right.
lunch was great. Had a really good time sitting and chit-chatting with my sister. Um, we don't get to do it often, even though <clears throat> we live pretty close to each other. But our schedules don't really match up. So it was really nice to kind of just catch up with her. And now I want to go to Home Goods because it's just down the street. So, y'all, it's 7.45 at night. <laughs> I just got home. I left here at like 10.30 this morning. And it's 7.45. I mean, the only part of my day that was like frustrating is going to the grocery store. Tell me down below if you go to the store without a grocery list, do you end up getting all types of BS that you didn't go for? Because I didn't have a list. I just knew I needed something to take to work for the next three nights. And I ended up getting probably everything but that. But anyway, so as the title states, um, I felt like we've been doing this whole family thing for a minute now. And I never really tell you all much about me. This is not gonna be the whole full Q&A thing, which I still plan to do. But, um, yeah, so in 2019, um, after a couple years of going back and forth to different doctors and specialists, um, I was diagnosed with two chronic brain conditions. And I think I found out the end of April of 2019, I met with a neurosurgeon in May of 2019, and I had my first brain surgery in June of 2019. And I think I, at that point, I had kind of hit rock bottom, so say, so to, I mean, so to say, is that right? So to speak, so to speak. And, um, I had all types of neurological issues. Um, my peripheral vision on my right side was kind of like deteriorating. Um, so if somebody was back here, I probably couldn't see them. Um, I was having issues with walking. I was in a lot of pain. I was having really, really, really bad migraines, like really bad. Um, and then, so when I saw the neurosurgeon and he saw like, my brain scans, he was like, we need to operate. So, yeah, so I had my first one in June. And then before I left the hospital, I was already back needing, we had already decided at that point I was going to need a second one. So anyway, I'll just tell you, I have um, idiopathic intracranial hypertension AKA pseudotumor cerebri, AKA my brain thinks it has a tumor, but I don't have a tumor. So when your brain thinks it has something, means pseudo means it's false. Um, idiopathic means there's no known cause. So this is just something that I wasn't born with. It just happened. And um, so my brain produces way too much cerebral spinal fluid because it's trying to flush out something that, that doesn't exist. So um, that condition, the idiopathic intracranial hypertension caused my Chiari malformation type one, which means part of my cerebellum was pushed outside of my skull because all of that pressure from all of that buildup of fluid pushed it out. So I ended up having to have part of my skull removed to take the pressure off of my cerebellum so that the fluid can like go up and down my spine properly as well as stop all of the neurological issues that I was having because your cerebellum is responsible for movement and yeah. So anyway, um, 
It did not fix the problem because I have two conditions that do not complement each other. They're not complementary of one another. But we thought the first one would take care of it, but it did not. So over the next couple months, I end up still having to have multiple um, lumbar punctures to reduce the spinal fluid that was building up in my brain constantly until we finally decided the best option was a shunt. Well, I knew I needed one, but I just did not want it because the one that was offered to me is not the most successful, doesn't have the most successful rate. And I didn't feel like, why should I have another surgery if it's not gonna be a success? Well, we all know there's no such thing as 100% of anything, but mine had a really, really, really low success rate. So I ended up in December after not being all that compliant, <laughs> after having my lumbar punctures, um, I would go back to work the next day knowing I, I was supposed to be on complete bed rest, laying flat on my back for 24 to 48 hours. I would go to work and then I would have like these, I would have issues, put it that way. Um, so yeah, I have two brain conditions and I have to constantly see a neuro-ophthalmologist to check the pressure in my eye. Um, because they can tell by looking at my optic nerve whether or not I have too much pressure, which would then cause me to have to have possibly another surgery. Um, I have had over the last two years several lumbar punctures because I can tell when things are not the greatest. Um, I have constant headaches, but they're nowhere near the migraines that I used to have. Um, but one thing about me is I'm never going to let something beat me until it's the end. And when I tell you that after having that surgery, my outlook on life changed so much that I try to live every day as if it's my last. Like, you know what I'm saying? If I feel like I want to do something, I do it. And that's how everyone should look, regardless if they have any type of conditions or whatever, you should always look that way because you never know. We're, we're not promised tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? So this whole, I, I, I joke to myself and say, wait, after I had brain surgery, that's how I end up learning how to use power tools. <laughs> like who knew? Like maybe that's what gave me this newfound skill, but I just find it crazy, you know? And it's, and, and people, you know, when you're afraid to take that chance, you never know what you're capable of because I was in school and couldn't even barely walk. You know, I was still going to physical therapy. I had literally just had brain surgery and I was still in school trying to like get, because I was an LPN trying to become an RN and nobody like, you could not tell me anything because I was still not missing a beat. I was still, I was in class every day. I was passing my classes. I was doing everything. So I just wanted to share a little bit about me with you guys because I feel like we're family now, but I am going to do a complete Q&A with you guys soon. So if y'all have any other questions y'all wanna ask me, I'm open to tell you guys um, because you only get to see me for like 20 minutes and it's very edited. So you don't get to see my real life. And when people comment you know, and say mean things to me, it's like, you don't know me. You don't know me, you don't know my life, you don't know what's going on. You only see these 20, 30 minute clips of what's really going on and you know what I'm saying or whatever and I'm as humble as they can be. I work really, really hard because like I said, I don't know when this is the end. I don't know. My conditions are not curable. They are chronic. They are, I'm going to forever have two brain conditions. Who knows? But enough of my soapbox. I'm going to put these things away and then I'm going to come back and we will pick up from there. I'll be back. The bad thing about living in a new subdivision is deliveries. It is so hard for people to find your house because it doesn't come up on a GPS. So it's a struggle. But what's a struggle is one of my DIY projects. Not everything is always going to be a success when you're doing DIYs. And I want to show you one that's not. Okay, so hopefully you can see it. I'm going to zoom in. So those DIY, I'll, you know what, I'm gonna go out there. Hold on. So you know I made those curtain rods out of PVC and then I had connectors. So this side, 
is handling it pretty well. This side as well, but this side right here, because it's longer and has more connectors, it is not. So I guess I'm gonna just have to break down and buy actual rods. Cause yesterday the wind was so strong, these curtains was being blown everywhere, but I'm just gonna go ahead and buy actual curtain rods. It was worth a try. It was trying to save a couple bucks, but yeah, that's a fail. But my furniture still looks great. <laughs> Speaking of furniture, let me show you the table that I built for my client. It's not painted or sanded. It still needs a few little things, but I'll show you what it looks like so far. Okay, so this is the sofa table. This is what he asked for. He wanted something very simple. So I just need to sand it and paint it. Um, he and I finally decided what color. So now I just need to get the paint, but I'll finish it next week because I work the next few days. And then my baby's going to prom. So that's what the table looks like. It's another angle. So yeah, it just needs to be sanded, painted, and delivered. So my self-care day wasn't a bad day, you know, because I feel like, you know, um, it's very important to take time for yourself, whether or not you have any type of medical issues or not, but you always need some time to yourself. And I've been going hard with these DIY projects as well as, you know, just working and trying to split my time between two homes, still trying to be a mom, grandma, you know, all these things. But I did not buy a lot of stuff today while I was out. I would have liked to go to more stores, but I didn't. Um, but let me just show you a few things that I did buy. So I bought this curtain rod for the office because my next DIY is gonna be the garage, or not DIY, but room that I tackle because I spent a lot of time in there and I need to organize all of my stuff because it's study accumulating and it makes me um, spend more time looking for stuff than it should. And my projects wouldn't probably take as long if I knew where stuff was. So, but then it's gonna be my office, the book, the office. So I bought a new um, rod and I got this at Home Goods. It was 25, $25? Yeah, 25 bucks. So, and then I bought um, this for Amani's dorm room because this is one of the colors that she wanted. And I saw it um, on clearance for 12 bucks and it says, you got this girl, I'm gonna hang it above her bed. Um, just to kind of remind her that, you know, cause I mean, it's gonna be her first year in college and I just want her to know, you know, that she's capable of anything, so. Gonna go, like I said, above her bed. And then I was at TJ Maxx and I saw these on clearance as well. And it was two of them. Put this this way. And I figured I could put these once I organize the garage, I can put all my different size nails in these drawers. So. It's two, like I said, I bought two of them and they were on clearance. It was on clearance for 24 bucks. So, and it's like flat, heavy plastic. But I felt like, like I said, it would do good in the garage on the shelves with all of my, um, my nails. Cause I have lots of different sizes. And last but not least, I just bought this canister to put under the sink with my um, my pods, my dishwasher pods, and it was $7.99. So, instead of having the bag. So, that's all I got today. Um, I didn't do, and other than groceries, but like I said, I didn't really, I spent the $100, but I don't even know what I'm gonna make with them. You know what, I got stuff to make salads and some coffee. But anyway, I think, that it? That's it for tonight. 
You know, my guys, that's going to be it for this vlog. Um, today was a self-care day. Uh, I wanted to tell you all about my conditions and my little mini, mini, mini haul. <laughs> so as always, thank you for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. If you're not part of the Lavish family, please consider joining at this time. But until the next time, I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye.